everyone welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to be talking to you guys about this little journey that i'm going on i am doing a six month fitness journey that i would love for all my beautiful subscribers to join me on um i'm also going to be partnering with Jadera Brittany fit and my process fitness more of that to come in my next video but stay tuned for that because we have a lot of you know a lot of cool things in store for you guys we have prizes and all these things that we're gonna do so just make sure you tune into my next video that i post after this one but yeah i have i'm doing a six month fitness journey and on this journey it's not necessarily i'm not really trying to lose weight i mean if that is your goal by all means definitely do that i'm just necessarily trying to tone up i'm gonna insert a clip of what i look like right now and then i'll insert a clip in six months and see what it's gonna be and i'm really excited because a lot can happen in six months you know like a lot can change in six months so we are gonna go from there. I actually started this yesterday, so this is my day two. You guys will get this video on Thursday, so by then you know it'll be day four. Or I don't know what day it is, but you know. But yeah, so on this journey, I'm basically just gonna be, you know, checking in with you guys. I wanna make sure I do at least three days a week. Ideally, I would love to do five days a week, like Monday through Friday not only for just like you know the healthy aspects of it but also just for my mental health and you know it helps me be more grounded i feel like sometimes i get anxious or get overwhelmed and once i work out like all of that is clear and i have insomnia so like when i work out during the day it really helps me be able to go to sleep better at night so all these things and i was just like why not do a fitness journey of six months and i know six months is a long time you know things happen and we fall off that's why we're here we are here to hold each other accountable i'm excited hope you guys are excited so i'm just gonna show like maybe a little workouts that i do i'm not necessarily going on a diet i me myself i am not a diet girl like i love cookies i love sweets like i love all the pastry stuff so i don't see myself going on a diet but i am gonna try to eat better so i'm gonna you know do some meal plans or meal prep or <laughs> i'm gonna do meal prep and just you know go from there i'm not gonna say don't i'm never gonna eat anything bad for the next six months because that's unrealistic for me for you if you want to do that by all means do it we are just here to support each other to hold each other accountable and i'm really excited for this so i hope it goes good before i get into you know the food aspect please don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel and we'll get into it Okay guys, so this was just me going to the gym, you know, doing some light workouts and nothing crazy. This was my day one, so um, my day one of the six month challenge was this, and then this was me when I was about to leave the gym. And then this is what I currently look like right now. Obviously, I just came back from the gym, so it's a little bit bloated. I don't know if that happens to anybody else. But this is what I look like, and then six months from now, I'm going to put a video up in this exact same outfit. Okay guys, so like I said, I'm gonna be doing um, a couple meal preps. I'm not trying to lose any weight at all because I'm already pretty small. I weigh 140 pounds and I have, this is currently what I look like and I have no booty at all. I have no hips. So that's really what I'm trying to do. But yeah, I'm basically just trying to tone everything up, maybe get a little bit of gains, you know, get a little bit of gains, tone everything up, tone my stomach up, things like that. So I'm not doing this to lose weight, but I am trying to be a little bit of healthier in what I put into my body and just all those things. I'm gonna be doing some detoxes, smoothies. We're gonna be doing some nice healthy food, just making some meal prep. I think I'm about to do, make food for the next seven days or whatever. And I wanna get into this routine where I, every Sunday I make, you know, my food for the week. It's not Sunday, I think today's Tuesday. So we are just gonna go from there. And I hope you guys decide to, you know, do this with me. Comment down below if you, there's anything specific you would like to see me do or that you think we should add to this little, you know, finish training that we're doing. Anybody can do this, any age, male, female, woman, men, anybody, anything, like anything. <laughs> anybody can join onto this. So let me know what you think and let's just, you know. So I am gonna start off with, I think I'm gonna be making potatoes chicken and bell peppers that might change when you guys you know see the next clip because i'm really indecisive and i don't know what exactly i'm going to eat for the next and that's the other thing i hate eating the same food every single day i cannot do it like it i just it's not that's not for me so i think i'm gonna do like a mixture of different things and just have like 
this for two days and then something else for the next two days. <sighs> but yeah, make sure you watch my next video to see what the partnership with My Process Fitness and Cheetah Birdie Fit. We have a lot of stuff in store for you guys, so pay attention to that and So I took out two cups of rice. You can use whatever cup. My cup was like this big. You don't have to do this big of a cup, obviously. So I did two cups of rice because that's what I'm gonna boil. Um, and I'm just gonna do white rice because I don't have um, mixed vegetables or whatever. So I'm gonna do white rice. I'm gonna do a bunch of potatoes. I love potatoes, guys. I'm gonna do broccoli. Bell peppers, I love bell peppers. And chicken that I should have taken out a long time ago, but I didn't, I don't know why. So I'm going to bring that to a boil and then I'm going to show you how I season my chicken, how I season my potatoes. Yeah. Ooh, and so we all and water. Gonna be knocking at your door. Don't wash your hands and watch. So to start off, I'm using three and a half cups of water. Um, my cup was kind of like, you know, a regular size drinking cup. But you don't have to use this. You can use something smaller, obviously. And then I just got another pot and I filled it one fourth of the way up. And that's when I'm going to use to, you know, boil my broccoli or steam my broccoli. So I just used that one fourth cup of water, put it in there, and then put the broccoli on top. I did not have fresh broccoli, so I had to use frozen broccoli, but it's okay. Same nutrients, you know. And now I'm just going through and cutting all my potatoes. I'm slicing them in half, and then I'm going to be putting them into the oven because it's a healthier choice than cooking them on the stove. Now that my rice, the water is boiled, I'm gonna go ahead and add my rice. You can either add the rice right before, like right when you put the water in, or you can wait for it to boil. It doesn't really matter as long as you're paying attention and don't burn the rice. But yeah, I'm just adding in all the rice. I actually used two cups of rice, but it was way too much, so I should have used one just for myself. And then I'm gonna stir it in that one time. And then make sure you, you know, mix up your broccoli so it doesn't burn at the bottom. And I'm just going to use a tiny bit of salt. And I'm also going to be using a tiny bit of lemon pepper seasoning on top. Now I'm going to go in and I'm going to spray the, my pan with canola, canola oil. I had a non-stick pan, but... I just didn't want to take any chances, so I sprayed it at the bottom. I'm going to go in with my Mrs. Dash for my potatoes. I'm also going to use the Creole seasoning. I'm going to use, what am I using next? Cajun seasoning. I'm going to link all this at the bottom, so, you know. Parsley. And I'm going to shake it all up. You want to make sure each layer, each potato is coated with the seasoning. And then you're just going to spread it on to your tray or whatever you're going to put into the oven and then mix it all around so they can all cook evenly. And then I'm just going to go back in a little bit with that Tony seasoning, that Tony's Grill seasoning and just add it on top because that's my favorite and... I want the potatoes to have flavor. You want to make sure you constantly check your rice. You don't want it to overcook and you don't want it to be, you don't want to overwater it and you also don't want it to be, um, you know, burn. It's when you overwater it, it'll become really sticky and I don't like that. And then if you let it burn, it's just, it's a waste. Now I'm going to season my chicken going in with my Mrs. Dash, with my Cajun seasoning. The slap your mama hot spice. I love my food spicy. I love spicy food, so I use a lot of spice. 
um, Tony seasoning. Again, I'm gonna link all these to the bottom. Adding lemon pepper. Um, off the top of my head, I cannot remember what that's called, but you know, the really spicy seasoning. I can't remember what that's called. And then you want to flip it over, and I'm just doing the same exact thing on the other side. This is not over seasoning. People just really do not know how to season their food. But you want to season it to taste and season it to flavor. You don't want to just, it's not going to be over salted or anything like that. Just So just, I mean, it's all about personal preference. I like my food to be spicy, and I like to be able to taste the flavor. So, you know, I do it like that. Now I'm going to get my bell peppers. You want to make sure, look how dirty this bell pepper is. And people have the audacity to take food straight out and just start eating it and cooking it. You need to wash. Wash your food. Wash your produce, okay? And so I just washed everything, and then I'm going to go ahead and cut it all up. I cannot express this enough. Please wash your food. Okay, wash it. Wash it well. Wash it for 30 seconds. And while I do that, I notice my rice was done. When you have see the holes like that, it's a good indication that it's done. I also went in and checked my potatoes just to make sure they weren't burning. And then I'm going back in to cut up the rest of my bell peppers. So I'm adding a little bit of vegetable oil to my pan. I ended up switching this pan out for a bigger pan. I don't know why I thought this was gonna fit all those peppers. But I'm just going to add the peppers in and let them cook for a little bit. I'm not cooking them to be, you know, like overly oiled, you know, just kind of a little steam. I still want them to be crunchy and hard. I don't want them to be, you know, cooked too much. And then I'm going to go in with another pan and I'm going to use that canola, canola, I cannot say that word. I'm going to use the canola oil again, spread at the bottom, and then I'm going to add my chicken in there. I'm going to bake it as well because also the healthier option. And then all that leftover seasoning at the bottom, yep, go ahead and just throw that on there. You want that extra flavor. It's going to cook in the oven so you know the heat is going to kill any bacteria or anything so you don't have to worry about any of that stuff. So you see I switched the pan and I'm just going to go in and let it cook for a little bit. I did bake the chicken on 350 heat. Actually, I think I baked it on 400 heat. And I baked the potatoes on 350 heat. And I left the potatoes in for about, I want to say like 20 minutes. And I left the chicken in for about 45-ish minutes. So when the chicken is done, look at that. Just look at the blizzard. And it was really good, if I do say so myself or whatever. It was really good. So I'm just going to take the chicken out and go ahead and cut it up. Look at that season to flavor, honey. Look at all the seasoning. But yes, it was tender. It was juicy on the inside, you know. Just cut it up. I'm cutting mine up into strips. You don't have to do this. If you want to do, like, you know, the whole chicken on top of the rice, you can do that. But I want mine to be into strips because I'm not going to eat that all in one setting. So after I finish cutting up the chicken, I'm going to get my, you know, my little bowls that I'm going to use for my meal preps and I'm going to set them out so I can transfer all the food to the, you know, bowls. So I'm just going in and adding a generous amount of the food to each bowl. I obviously made way too much rice so I ended up giving some to my roommate so she could use because I don't know who I thought I was or what I thought I was doing with all that rice, <laughs> but it's okay.
so yeah basically just go through and add each of the foods onto each of the things so i'm just gonna let you guys watch it's kind of satisfying so <laughs> yeah And that is basically all I did. It was pretty easy. It looks so pretty and colorful. I love that in a plate of food. And yeah, that's it. It took like an hour or something to make all of this. It was not much at all. I'm just going to, you know, cover them all up and then store them in my fridge. Okay, y'all, so that is all I have for you today. So you saw that I made all those meal preps. I even made myself a plate to eat right now after I get out of here of like all the leftover stuff. That's really easy. You see how easy it is to make all that food? It literally took me an hour and that's including the, most of that is you know me cooking the chicken and waiting for it to be done. It's not hard. If you do everything, all of this on one day, you can get it all done and then you can be set for the week. That's probably gonna be what my dinner is. I don't eat a heavy lunch or breakfast, so I'll probably have like fruit or whatever. I just burn my hand. <laughs> If you guys want me to show what I'm going to do for lunch as well, then put that in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to stay tuned to the video I have next week on the big announcement that we have coming up. I love you guys so much and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.